Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So from the title, you can already tell this is going to be a video on things that I wish I would have known before I had a baby. And it's mostly like, you know, tips and whatnot, things that I would think everybody should know if you're a first time mother or if you're just a mother in general, you're just interested. So if you want to know, yes, yeah, keep on watching and let's get right to the video. So the first thing I have on my list is being a parent is hard. Like, it's very hard. I'm not even going to lie to you, especially if you're a young parent. Like, you have to balance school, raising a baby, and if you're working, you have to fit that in there, too. Like, it's so many decisions that you have to make that affects your baby's upbringing. And, you know, it gets hard. It's stressful. It's, it's a lot. And I don't know. It's, I don't know. It's, it's, a, it's a lot. Um, Sometimes you're going to feel like you're a terrible mom, and it, you're going to feel, like, just down, like, depressed. But it gets easier, I promise you. It gets easier as the time goes on. You learn, like, what to do, what works for you and your baby. And that's that's it. Next thing I have is you don't need to spend tons of money on baby stuff. And that's just the honest truth right there. People are going to tell you, oh, you need this and that and that for the baby. And honestly, you turn out not even using, like, half the stuff that you bought. So, yes, like a waste of money. So, I suggest, like, just getting the essentials, you know stuff that you feel like you absolutely need but don't go buying stuff every day like useless stuff that you know like oh i just saw this commercial they say it's great for new moms and think about it do you really need it probably not but i mean it's up to you but just throwing it out there the next thing that i have on my list is you find out who your real friends are after the, after having a baby and that's very true after you have the baby it's like you and the people you know your friends they don't y'all don't have the same interests anymore you say you have your baby they don't have a baby say so they don't understand the sacrifices and the things that you have to do they want to go out and party all night and you can't do that you have a baby to take care of it's like y'all slowly drift apart and you know they not as sincere of a friend as you once thought they were the next thing i have on my list is you're gonna have no time for yourself <laughs> And it's not even funny, but you're literally going to have no time for yourself. Your whole life pretty much is going to revolve around the baby, the baby's needs. Is he hungry? Is he sleepy? Like, you feel, I don't know, you don't have time for yourself to do things that you want to do, hobbies. and I mean, you could fit it in eventually, but it's like, you feel like your whole, your whole life is going to revolve around the baby. And that's that. Your whole life is going to re revolve around the baby. Something that I did not know to look forward to when having a baby was how sleep deprived I was really going to be. Like, I get no sleep at all. And it's so hard. Like, I know people say, you should try to um, sleep when a baby's sleeping. But it's like, I can't sleep when he's sleeping because that's the only time I feel like I can get something done. But so I'm running off of like maybe four hours of sleep every day, which is pretty unhealthy if I must say so myself. But I don't know. I think you would end up down the line getting into some type of groove of oh well, I can sleep then but just know that you're not getting any sleep <laughs> sad truth but you're not getting any sleep as the baby gets older you know try to get a routine going for um you know you you and him or her it's really helpful and it um it helps them get to know like what to expect like oh this is bedtime or I'm, I'm supposed to play at, at, around these hours they go to sleep at a certain time like it helps you so much i promise thing i have on my list is never compare your parenting to anyone else it's like never don't do it at all like people that give you this so-called advice i guess and like oh you should do this this is how i raised my baby that's how my mom raised me and blah 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 but honestly you don't have to to do that just because you know that's what they think that you should do you should do what you want to do for your child like this is your child don't let any other influences or any other family family members like pressure you into like do whatever works for you you could take these people's opinions but and respectfully say yeah that sounds nice and all but i want to raise my child a different way and that's perfectly fine 
you don't have to be pressured into doing what someone else thinks you should do for your child. At the end of the day, this is not their baby, it's yours. So you make that decision and say, this is how I'm going to raise my child and stick to it. So yeah, those are all the things that I could think of at the moment that I feel like people should know things to expect when having a baby. Well, if you feel like I forgot something, please just leave it in the comments and you know, we could discuss it. But yeah, thanks for watching my video. Feel free to thumbs up if you liked it, give some comments below and subscribe to my channel. See you next time.